My name is Jack Adams, and I am here at Social Studies Rocks News. And we are here at the Berlin Wall, but it's in Legos. It's in Legos? We are here in Berlin in the time of the Cold War. And it, this was not about temperature. It was a standoff between the United States and the Soviet Union. The reason I'm here is because it's a very exciting event. The Berlin Wall is coming down. But let me tell you a little bit more about the history of the Berlin Wall. So it started out in 1961 when the Soviet Union built a whole wall around East Germany so they can spread communism around all of Europe. So let me take a stop here. That was expansionism. And that's when a certain group of people try to spread their ideas. In this case, that was communism around the whole world. So then they'll have pretty much all control. So let's keep going. Now, what the Soviet Union also wanted to do is since they built the Berlin Wall, they didn't want any of the East Germans going out because if they had less population, then it would just be more territory for the Soviet Union. Actually, the Prime Minister of England, Winston Churchill, predicted this before it ever happened. He said that an iron curtain would fall over Europe, and look now, it did. I forgot to mention this, but at the end of World War II, Germany was split up into four sections. The United States had one section, France had another section, and Britain had another section. And then the other section was for the Soviet Union. All of those were the Allied powers in World War II, but the Soviet Union had its own plan. As you can see here in this propaganda picture, this was the Soviet Union's plan to control all of Berlin. Now, you think this is a cute teddy bear with a Soviet Union hat on it, but guess what? He has blood on his claws, and that is not good. Roar. You're probably wondering, did this wall really cause more tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union? Let's ask one of the Border Patrol guards for the Soviet Union, also known as the Jens Truppen. So, tell me nice sir, what's your name? My name is Sven. Well, do you think tensions increased with the United States and the Soviet Union during the time of the Berlin Wall? Yes! The rise of the wall increased tensions by having a standoff of U.S. troops and Soviet troops on either side of the diplomatic checkpoint. That's right, Sven. The tensions did increase between the Soviet Union and the United States. a matter of fact, the U.S. condemned this wall. The United States did not want the spread of communism. That was called containment. So, not only the United States wanted to stop the spread of communism, a lot of people on the East German side also wanted to stop the spread of communism. Like a man named Wolfgang Engels, he took a rundown tank and drove it straight into the wall and was able to escape exactly from that, as you can see here. And that was super dangy because everybody that tried to escape would get shot by the Zen's troop and or the Soviet Union Border Patrol. That's fair. Yes. Now that I've talked about the history of this, we can officially say that this wall might be coming to an end. Hold on. Wait. I'm getting news that Ronald Reagan is going to make a speech right now. Hold on. Wait. Mr. Gorbachev tear down this wall. Whoa! Now, everybody, this is very exciting for all the people in East Berlin because now they can be reunited with their families on the other side of the wall. This is going to be awesome for everybody in West East Berlin, West Berlin, and the whole entire world. This is Jack Adams signing off of Social Studies Rocks News.